So guys, Carl here, Team Symmetry. I'm giving you guys an update on my injector deck. So here is the budget injector budget deck I've been running. Like I said, the only card that's really expensive in this deck is really the Hornets, which are like I think 30 a piece now since the distance they've been reprinted. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of sick. So sorry if I like clear my throat or like <coughs> you know stuff like that. Yeah, let's get started. Um. I am just redoing the deck profile because I did do a lot. There's are there are a lot of changes in the deck, and uh, you guys will see. So of course, but this is the Hopper build. So yeah, so here we go. Triple Dragonfly, you know, standard. He gets out the um, he can equip an injector to him, and uh, well, when an uh, equip card is detached from it, you can uh, you can special summon an injector from your deck besides Dragonfly. Then you have the Hornet. Um, you can also equip injector monsters to it, but there's no additional effect. And uh, while it's equipped, you can send it to the graveyard to destroy one card on the field. And it ga all the monster also gains 500 attack and 200 defense. Centipede, basically just like Dragonfly. The only difference is um, it can it can uh, search an injector monster from your deck regardless of the name. So you can search for another centipede if you want. But usually people go for a dragonfly, you know, because dragonfly can get you the two pops, technically. So yeah, triple centipede. And then I run Injector Hopper. Um, I can equip, like, like centipede and dragonfly and hornet, I can equip an injector monster to it. But that's all it really does. It can't, there's no additional effects. But while it is equipped to an injector monster, you can send it to the graveyard to attack directly. Um, uh, the reason why I like this card is because, um, when you equip it, if you don't have a hornet, you do, you, if, and you have hopper, you can uh, equip it to a dragonfly, and have um, have the dragonfly attack directly, and you can also get the dragonfly's additional effect to um, special summon another monster, so it helps like um, add cards to your hand, search cards and stuff like that. Plus, it's a 17 beater, and it uh, this plus the injector sword put in a lot of work. It gets over Lagia and Dolka. So a lot of people would want a warning this. Plus it's level 4, so I can go into uh, Utopia or do whatever other stuff. I run 2 of that. Uh, then I run the 1 Gigamantis. Uh, this card is gray, but there, there are times when you don't want to draw into it, you know? Like, there'd be times where I'd have, uh, I'd draw into this but no other injected monsters. It would kind of suck. But, um, it's a great card, you know? It gives your monsters all, they, it boosts them to 2400 attack. And, um, this is an overall great card. Then for, um, the non-injectors, I got the Dark Arm Dragon, you know. I do have great grave control, so Dark Arm Dragon is really good in this deck. Great card. Mystic Tomato, um, helps me get my Hornets into the grave, fa into the grave faster. I can search out my Dragonfly if they don't, well, like, you know, if, um, they're, they have no more monsters to attack with, so I can go for Dragonfly. Or next turn, yeah, do random stuff. Or I can go for Spirit Reaper. And uh, Spirit Reaper is just, you know, a good card. It has a lot of weaknesses, but it is a dark, and it's like it's just a great card to run. Because uh, it helps stall. Uh, I've played against Dino Rabbit a lot, and um, it's hard for them to get over Spirit Reaper. And their only out would be, like, Mind Control, or, like, cards of a target, you know, Forbidden Lance, Dark Hole, Smashing Ground, and all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's still pesky to get around. Get around. And it's a level 3, so I can go into my uh, rank 3 exceed. Then you got the Sangan. You know, there's combos. You can go Mystic Tomato into Sangan. When they kill Sangan, you get your search. Add the Hornet or Dragonfly into your hand, whichever you need the most at, during the time. And, <clears throat> you know, Sangan is overall a great card. It's a rank It's a grade 3, too, so I can go... Or, well, not a grade 3, uh, level 3, too, so I can go uh, rank 3 exceed as well. You know, one of the best cards in the format still, I, I think. Then you have the Gores. Uh, I only run like two continuous trap cards in this. Um, this is the two called the Haunted. But <clears throat> they're not really a problem. Gores doesn't really conflict with them. I just, lo I just love Gores, you know. It's like, it's so good not to run. There, I know there are a lot of decks that don't run them now because of Fiendish Shane, but he's just a great card. Um, yeah, if you guys notice, I don't have any Max Tier Veiler. Um, that's because... I don't know. I, I don't know if I have room for the Veiler. I might just add the Veiler, but I don't have any Veilers as of now. 
But I would main two Valor if I had the chance, because Valor's th still good, you know. Maybe just one, because, I don't know, Maxi, too expensive for me. Um, like I said, this is a bu budget deck, so the only thing that really is expensive is the Hornets. <laughs> Moving on, we got uh, our spell cards. So we got the Triple Duality. I, I took it out at first, and then I tried it out, and I it was alright for me, but I put it back to three, because I really like Duality. It really helps this deck a lot. Um, usually, if you have a drag, if you have a dragonfly or centipede in hand, you and then um, duality into a hornet. You just summon the centipede, you know, get ready for your next turn, and then you equip the hornet, pop something, add dragonfly, get your magic to your hand, just whatever you need during the time. Duality is just an overall great card. It increases the deck's consistency so much. So, triple duality, I think, would be is really good. Two MST. Remember during the last vid, I had I think I was running triple MST. Uh, I think triple's too much. I play a, I play against uh, a lot of uh, injectors and uh, wind up and uh, Dino Rabbit. So triple MST was really like bad for me. I <coughs> um, two is fine, and I, plus I already have my other injectors to pop other things. So two MST is fine. And then I got the two creature swap. This is my this is like my personal like my tech. Um, this the card like does so much it puts in so much work because um, there have been times where um, I was able to like creature swap lagias or bait out lagias. <clears throat> There's one time where I um, summoned the uh, dragonfly and he let it go through. Oh, he let it go through because he he didn't think I'd have a hornet in hand, and then I creature swapped and made him waste his uh, lagias. Material and after that I just like uh, equip the hornet and just pop pop pop, you know. Plus it's all day. This card is amazing. And then there's I remember there was one time where my friend had an acid golem on the field, and I also had an acid golem on the field. But when I drew my acid golem had no more material, so I I gave it to him, and then uh, during during uh, I creature swapped our acid golems and then he took two thousand and then the game ended right there. Great card. Um, I don't know why a lot of people don't play it. It go. It, it combos well with uh, Sangen, Mystic Tomato, uh, Hornet. You know, it makes your opponent waste cards because they don't want to like lose their monster. It is like a boss monster format, so once they, if, most of the time you'll only they'll only have like one monster on the field, and they would have to negate it. But yeah, creature swaps really really good. Uh, Zek Caliber. This card is amazing. Um, while you equip it to an Injector Monster, it gains 800 attack, and uh, aside from that, it also it, it also gains 800 defense. But while this card is sent to the graveyard, the monster does not have to be faced up. The monster can be in the graveyard already; it doesn't matter. If you like, let's say the Dark Caller or Dragonfly equipped with this sword, and you have no target in the and there's no other targets in the graveyard. If the Dark Hole, Dragonfly would die, and then the sword would die, and then Sword's effect will activate. Adding your, you can, and then you can add the dragonfly back to your hand and do crazy stuff. Um, it is, this card is just amazing, you know. It with Hopper at, it gives Hopper eight hundred boost, making it twenty five. It makes Centipede twenty four. It get, they can get over uh, big monsters, so it's a great card. And then um, plus it's an well, even, and plus it's an equip card. So when I equip it to Dragonfly or Centipede, uh, and it gets popped, uh, their effects get, their uh, they get their effects as well. Yeah, so. Two sword, I'm. I, I mean, I was thinking of a third one, but I was. I'm afraid of dead draws, so three would be. Eh. And then you got the one ofs. I got the pot of avarice. Um, I don't know. Pot of avarice helps me a lot. There are times when it is dead, but it really does help. I'm not sure if I want to keep it in there. If not, then yeah, you know. Got heavy storm, of course. Monster reborn, of course. Dark hole, staple. Lord darkness. Um, it help. It, it's good too. Like um, you go and you go uh injectors, and then you you just say you draw into like a dragonfly and something else. So you can remove the dragonfly, and then you can uh exceed into Levier, bring him back next time. Uh, it helps with combos. Then you got foolish burial to you know dump hornet. Usually that's what you want to dump. Trap cards. We got two call the haunted. This card also puts in work. Um, it gets it, it um. Stalls out my opponent for like the longest time. Like when I usually what I usually what I could do is I'd uh, just summon it. I, I'd go call the hunt into a missing tomato again, and they they wouldn't want to attack into the tomato or they wouldn't want to attack into the sangan because I got a search or um, yeah you know 
you get that special summon. Call the Haunted just helps a lot, and then it helps the combos too. I'd have it set, and then like I'd summon a Dragonfly, and then um, they would like you know they want to get rid of it, so they do either Solemn Judgment or Solemn Warning. And I just pick Call the Haunted again, so, and then um, summon Dragonfly again, and they just wasted like two thousand life points, and uh, you know all that stuff just to get rid of it. <laughs> so you know, Call the Haunted, great card. Torrential Tribute at two. This card is amazing. I don't know what Konami was thinking of putting in at two, but. <sighs> This card is crazy. Most of, the, most of the time when I use it, it usually isn't a one for one. But when it, you know, like there are times when I do need to use it as a one for one. But with all the decks being able to go off so fast, this meta, uh, this card is just you can't you can't not run it. You need to run two. This is a great card. And then I run the Solemn Brigade. I got the two Solemn Warnings. You know, oops. two Solemn Warnings. It helps a lot. <laughs> you need it. Then I got the Mirror Force. Uh, people are saying not to run this is a bad card this format. But, you know, when I run it, it really is um, one of those cards that people don't expect anymore. So, by running this card, people will, like, like they, they won't expect Mirror Force when they go so when they summon, like, Laggy or Do when they, Usually when they summon Doka, when they summon the two, their, their two dinosaurs, this thing just does so much, puts in so much work, it, it helps a lot. And, of course, I got the run, so one Solemn Judgment. You know, it just stops everything, almost. <laughs> Great card, yeah. Well, that's my main deck. Side deck, uh, uh, I don't have an, uh, a legit side deck yet, but these are cards that, thinking of either maining or just siding. So we got Mischief of the Yokai. What this card does is, um, all monsters on the field lose two levels until the end phase. And, uh, while this card is in the graveyard, I can, uh, select one monster on the field and reduce this level by one. But I can't activate... Uh, this card the same turn I activated its first effect so this card is great against Dino Rabbit so let's say they go Dino Rabbit into uh, they go Rabbit into their two dinosaurs I play Mischief the Yokai it makes both of the dinosaurs level 2 and the only thing they would really be able to exceed for is Gachi Gachi and if they can't exceed for anything they the, both of the monsters either I think they go to the graveyard or they get banished I'm not sure and then you know it just helps a lot it, it gets rid of their monsters like fast <laughs> And then, um, if they try doing it again, while, while this card is in the graveyard, you can, uh, remove from play to make one monster level 3. One of the dinosaurs level 3, and then, um, it still would still disrupt their, disrupt their plays. They wouldn't be able to go into the laggy or Dolka. This, this card really does slow down the deck, and, um, it's just a really great card. <coughs> if you guys have any more, I'm looking for more of these. Yeah, and then I also have, uh, two Nekamana King. Uh, this is an old card. I forgot what the set is. It is... I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can't really see it. Uh, MFC, Magician's Force. Old set. Um, during your opponent's turn, when this card sent to the graveyard by the effect of your opponent's spell, trap, or monster card, your opponent's turn ends. So, what I like about this card is that if I set this card against Injectors, um, they pop it with, like, their crazy shenanigans. Um, yeah, it... They they can they can pop it for all I care you know, and then after the, after that um they'd be able to uh it would uh end your opponent's turn like automatically but they they would still get the summon over or summon or search, but it would automatically end their turn and then it would like, just you know it'd stop with there's two weak monsters on the field and just get rid of get rid of them next turn, and then also good against wind up dark world you know, um wind up if it's in your hand they discard it, too bad for them you know, pretty hard, car trooper, might main it. Uh, if I mill it, great. If I, 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 I can mill Hornets with it, but I don't know. Two Forbidden Lands. Also great. Um, it helps with uh, Dragonfly and stuff like that. It's a great card. Then I got two Thunder King. Standard. Two Doom Cal. Great card. Deep Prison. People don't expect it. Star Road, maybe. <laughs> Might mean it. And I got Marshmallow on. Yeah. So, Marshmallow on, because uh, when I go in... I'll side it against Dino Rabbit too, you know. Great card. Against Dino Rabbit. <laughs> Extra deck, yeah, I'm running out of time, guys, I'm sorry. So I got the Black Rose, Stardust, two Utopia. Well, I'm only gonna run one. Giga Brilliant, uh, Leviathan Dragon, and two Acid Golem. I need more stuff, but <clears throat> yeah, that's all I have for now, but I'll get more when I have the chance to get it. But yeah, uh, this is that's my budget injector deck, guys. Um, tell me how you like it. And yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Long Beach, Carl here, Team Symmetry, out.